Today we'll be using the magnifying glass to measure the distance on a pair of calipers. We'll get to see just exactly how exact this measurement is, and we'll bridge the gap between the real world and the CAD modeling world by bringing our paper tools targets into both Fusion and Vectric. Okay, let's get started. I've placed a pair of calipers open to 3.125 inches on my work surface in view of the camera. Now, when I click in the camera view, a new magnifying glass appears. Releasing the magnifying glass navigates the CNC machine to position the camera over the exact pixel I selected. Here, I'm choosing the top of this little cutout on each side of the calipers. And you can see the machine will make finer adjustments down to one thousandth of an inch. Now, typically we use the camera offset, which is the XY distance between the camera and the tool. And then we cut parts using the points we capture, what Paper Tools calls our targets. But with the magnifying glass, I can place a target on any pixel. This is very useful when measuring real-world objects, because I can export these target positions to an SVG file. Let's import it into Autodesk Fusion. I create a sketch and choose Insert SVG. The SVG file is saved with my exact paper tools coordinates, but Fusion maps them at 96 dots per inch, so I scale it. I also rotate it and flip horizontal so my fusion coordinates match my CNC machine. The paper tools targets are saved with circles and a crosshair at their center. I'll measure the distance between these with Fusion's inspection tool. Fusion shows that they are 3.122 inches, so about three thousandths off from what the calipers displayed. Let's try the same thing with Vectric. I'll import that same SVG file into Cut2D. This time I notice there's no need to scale or rotate it. I'll draw a line between the target centers, and I can see the line measures 3.1218 inches. So we're seeing more precision, and the difference is 3.2 thousandths of an inch. I've done this a bunch of times with both calipers and other real world objects, and I would say it's typical to get two or three thousandths of an inch off maybe in each direction, X and Y. And uh, that kind of precision is useful for a lot of different projects. But if you need even higher precision, you can print square targets and navigate to those. And there are lots more things you can do with Paper Tools. To learn more, go to papertools.ai.